Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. This is our series Excel to R, where I'm going to do a task, a data analytics task on Microsoft Excel, which is still one of the most popular analytics tools on the planet. And I'm going to replicate the same task on um, R, R Studio specifically. This is to help Excel users understand R better and then for them to feel how it is easier for them to use a programming language and do the same thing more efficient manner. So let's get into this video. In this video, we're going to see uh, VLOOKUP. Uh, so this was suggested by one of our uh, uh, viewers. So thank you very much for the suggestion. And uh, let's go ahead and see uh, what is VLOOKUP and how do we do VLOOKUP in Excel. And then we'll go back to our studio and then we do the same thing. So the first thing is uh, VLOOKUP is a function. Uh, so now let's understand the context. The context is this is the same data set that we saw in the first video, which is a food consumption video. It has a uh, sorry, food consumption data set. It has got four columns, a country column, food category column, consumption and CO2 emission, how much of uh, CO2 emission that given food category has been doing in this given country. So now we have got another sheet, another CSV file where we have got continent and country. So for a given country, they have got a continent. So given this, now let us try to see if we can create a new column here, which should say continent and that column should have continent for it. For example, in this case, let's look for Argentina. When we go to this sheet and search for Argentina, you can actually see Argentina belongs to South America. So now at the end of this process, when we do this VLOOKUP stuff, South America should come here and it should repeat uh, the respective continent should repeat for each uh, row. So this is our objective with VLOOKUP. So I'm not going to explain you how to do VLOOKUP. I, uh, this, this is not a tutorial for you to learn R or Excel. This is more like, uh, you know, so you learn something in one platform and then you try to understand how to do the same thing in another platform. Um, this is not like an individual function tutorial or programming tutorial. So let's start with VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, this is the column I want to look up for. And where do I want to look up? I want to look up here, uh, which is column B. Okay, so the problem, um, okay, first let's do this thing and then I'll explain you the problem. We look up and column index is minus one because you want the one before it and uh, you want exact match. Okay. If you see minus one gives you value, which is false. Let's put zero. Okay. Uh, what is the mistake we have done? Okay, let's put one. So you can see Argentina. So the point is VLOOKUP only accepts positive index. An index is more like an offset from the column that has been identified which column you want. So because we don't have anything in the right side, we have to traverse left side, which is not possible uh, directly with VLOOKUP and you have to do a lot of work around. This is what I understood from the internet about VLOOKUP. So to solve that, you have to actually take this column, um, cut the column then go back here and uh, insert the cut cell. So now that you have continent, uh, it is in the right side. Now you can use the same thing and then say two, sorry, one, but you have to expand your table array and then you can say two. So you got South America. So the idea is now you have got South America and then you can just drag it to all the columns. Now you have got South America. So there are some NAS missing values that they could not match. So we are not going to deal with all those things, all the string formatting, all those things. So we have just tried VLOOKUP to match a given continent with given country. And then we try to extract that back to this particular table or sheet that we have got. So now let's go ahead and then try to do the same thing in R. How are we going to do? So to start with, you can see that I have successfully read my first. Okay, we are loading our library. Let's start putting comments together here so that it is more helpful. Library, tidyverse for data manipulation and plot. Let's call it plot and plot. And um, then you read the CSV reading input data set. And this is again reading input data set, the country's data set, the second sheet. So once we read these things, uh, let us just try to, okay. So if you are completely, completely new to R, so first step is you have to install this package tidyverse using a command called install 
dot packages tidyverse which i'm not going to run it now because i have to then restart my r session so if you're completely new and you just want to you know use this tutorial to replicate it so i would encourage you to do this thing first once you do that thing then you have to just mark the path where you have got your folder the file uh, input file on your machine and please remember uh, csv is like the default file format because it's platform independent and then it doesn't have all these heavy weights that excel does uh, if you want excel then you have to use a different package but the methodology whatever we are going to do would remain same so the second sheet which is country sheet we have read successfully both so let's look at it so the first one has four columns the second one has two columns that is all fine and once this is done our objective is to add a column to this uh, data frame which is our co2 data frame and then say that um, this is a new column is called going to be called content okay co2 the way we are going to use is uh, we already saw in the previous video about pipe pipe um, uh, simply to say that it will take the output of the left hand side and give it to the right hand side so that's pipe you can do it without pipe also but a pipe makes it more intuitive that's the point so this concept what we are going to do now is from tidyverse package um, the tidyverse uh, universe so this concept actually comes from sql uh, as far as i know it's one of the joins that we are going to do to understand what is a join i would just give you a small hint left join if you understand venn diagram a left join is something where you have two tables and you want to join it based on a key and then you want to take instances entire instances of your left side table and then the matching instances of your right side table so to differentiate how it differs from other join you can see inner join inner join is something where you take something that are common in both the tables so left join is you take everything from left and keep the matching ones from the right inner join is take a intersection b which is only the matching ones so uh, the advantage of doing a left join um, in most of the cases is first of all it is easy to read the code and second of all your number of rows would remain the same you are not going to reduce the number of rows so we'll do a left join left join and then where are we joining with we are joining with this table called countries nice and by on which we are trying to join um, so for that you have to understand what are the column names the id unique key on which you are going to join in the first table it is going to be called country uh, uh, please note the small case c here okay so first is country and in the second table it's going to be called country which is capital uh, unlike excel where you have to move these columns in r you don't have to do it at all uh, it itself will take it so country so the first table it's small c country and then the second table it's capital c country once you execute it um, yeah it's it's showing on console so let us view it so you can see that you have successfully added a new column which is continent and then you have got all the continent names um, available so now you can just write it back to the same co2 um, to say co2 is equal to co2 now your co2 has five columns and then you have got the continent name so that is how you do v lookup on excel uh, which is v lookup is one of the most you know frequently used uh, function and how you would do v lookup on r using a tidyverse left join but maybe you don't want to use tidyverse package you want to you know use something simpler so in that case again r has got a function called merge first let us look at okay one of the good practices if you are coming to r as a new user or for any programming language for that matter is always learn to read the documentation so in this case you should put question mark and then say merge then you will be taken to the function uh, where merge is there and then in fact i would recommend you first read the first line merge two data frames by column name or row name or data bus join operation and then go to the last immediately and then try to understand what what um, uh, example that they have given so that is quite handy for you to do so they are trying to merge two data frames by these two column names cool so we can do the same thing without tidyverse so now we can say okay um we'll read the co2 again where we don't have uh, continent you, you can see that we have only four columns now our objective is to add continent co2 okay merge of co2 comma countries comma by 
सी ऑफ कंट्री सॉरी इज इक्वल टू कंट्री ओके वी हैव सक्सेसफुली सीन द फर्स्ट एरर एरर एंड फिक्स बाय मस्ट स्पेसिफाई ए यूनिक कॉलम वैल्यू ओके सो यू डोंट हैव टू यूज इक्वल टू यू हैव टू यूज कॉमा इन दिस सिंटैक्स ओके लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी डू दिस we are still facing an error by must specify a uniquely valid column uniquely valid column mm. one minute let me just run it i'm getting the same error okay so to solve that uh, key issue we can explicitly mention where we can say by dot x by dot y so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to say my by dot x is equal to country sorry country and by dot y is equal to country okay successfully ran let's assign it to co2 now you have five columns and then you can see that your con continent is available in this case so you can either use this join or you can use base or function this is from this package but if you don't want to use that package you can still use it using base or so this is the exact v lookup match using r so there is another aspect of v lookup which is partial match which we call as fuzzy match uh, we'll see that in a different video but uh, the objective for this video is for you to understand how again simpler is to do um, let's say v lookup and one of the aspects that we also seen these videos is that uh, why do you have to use r than you know uh, let's say by uh, excel or something like that let us assume that uh, now you have got another column here and let's say this column is going to be called um, some number and um, you are going to have um, one some some numbers okay so you are going to have some numbers in here let's repeat it okay so you are going to have numbers like this now if you want to do add another thing then you have to you know again um, replicate the entire number of clicks or if you want to teach a junior resource or a new uh, data analyst or data scientist you have to explain them the same thing if they want to replicate it but the advantage with r is if you have such a column all you have to do is you have to copy this code again uh, i understand that people would now tell me that uh, they can do excel formula copy paste but uh, to give you this uh, an, uh, simple understanding where you don't have to select uh, the table array or anything so all you have to do is you have to say okay i want to join country by but what this function will do is what are all columns you have got in the output file so let's let's do that let's uh, if you see okay where is my okay i don't have here but um, Uh, I'll just uh, manipulate a column name here. So I, if I say country, countries, um, some number is equal to I'll say um, C of two comma three four. If I say this, okay, uh, I have to replace it. Okay, well, for this matter, we'll just say six. Okay, so six. is a column some number now when you actually do this do this co2 thing um from the first where you don't have uh, anything so you have four columns and now you have three columns here when you do this merge you can actually see that that co2 got also the some number column so you don't have to explicitly do it with different different columns uh, you just have to do join once and then you would get all the column values so again that is one advantage of using a programming language uh, probably like starting from sql or python anything so i hope this video was helpful uh, in understanding how to do v lookup in r and uh, if you have any video suggestions please let me know if you know want to know about any excel function please uh, let me know i would try to do the same thing in r thank you very much for watching um, i got a lot of um, good feedback for the previous video that i did for this particular series so thanks to everyone who saw the video and then shared it and subscribed thank you so much take care bye bye